Hey, it's Ray with Crazy Crawling. I'm just gonna do this video real quick because uh, some folks were asking about the um, boxes and how I do my system. As you see in our warehouse right now, we have a lot of bikes. We have a small space because we choose to um, do this from our facility. And so we don't have a lot of room. So these boxes have helped us with that processing, but close to the end when we start getting our big bike donations, we'll need to actually consolidate uh, the boxes. And so this is how we're doing it. I do think that some people have um, used their boxes to actually distribute. And maybe if you're out there and you do that, you can comment. We are not distributing right out of these boxes. These boxes we ordered from Uline and they're size 22 by 22 by 36. So they take up less room on the floor and they go up higher. So that's, we're going to keep these boxes throughout, which is why we use clips instead of tape. Um, for our signs, things like that. We'll just fold them back up and saran wrap them and use them again. So the system we're using is we have these red bags, which I think are the 45 gallon, and they are from Uline. We have the bright tags that we order. They come in three different colors, but we just use each color a year. And um, so we put our floor tag on, or our family tag on that. And um, then we will fill it once the family is full. So we've highlighted here, they're both here, and it's highlighted in our book. Um, I will check these as they as I put the bag here. Um, that, in fact, some of the labels are from the bottom. Um, then I do have 98B and 98A, okay? I have both of those. I'm gonna check off that I have them. Even though um, we have a highlight here, I just like to double and triple check everything. It makes distribution earlier, easier. Um, I'm going to put these in this bag, hopefully. <laughs> okay. I think somebody was asking what we do with the zip ties. We just get the longer zip ties. Once we're done with this bag, we checked it off, we checked it off on here, it's checked off in the book that these are on the floor. Um, we will zip tie this bag shut and we know that's a wrap for this bag. Nothing else is going in. It also helps when we start, we will squish these up at the end. So it helps when we do that, do that. Now, for right now, I'm gonna put this big family bag back in here. Okay, when our, we'll start with our first three rows, so we should be able to have them done um, by the end of this week. Once they are done, we will remove the boxes from a full row and we will take the bags and squish them in order all the way up. That's gonna take my boxes back from um, the back there and it's gonna squish my bags to about right here. So that's gonna give me a lot more room for bikes. So that's what we do with our box system. We're not giving out the boxes. We are using the bags and the boxes will be actually removed uh, before distribution. Some people do use them and I'd love to get them to talk about it, but everybody's kind of pulling their hair out at this point. So it won't be this year. So with the um, zip ties, the other thing I do is I get the eight inch zip ties. I get 11 inch for the, um, the family bags. I get eight inch for the bikes. We've gotten like the four inch before, but they're just um, too short to like keep a finger's distance between. So when we start labeling the bikes, we label them according to the number of colors on the wall um, because we'll organize like the first ones going out first and then we kind of stack them back that, that way. By co the color tags help a lot with that. So uh, I will just look and we, we tag them with painter's tape as soon as they come in so that they don't get um, misplaced from their uh, family number. We make sure everybody who, when they got it, and then we put the bike tags later. So we'll do this at the end, but I'm just gonna do one now to show you. Um, and we just, we use a, um, I talked about this before, a, what is that thing called? So a labor, label marker? A hole puncher, the label, or the, what's it called? A badge hole puncher. We use a badge hole puncher for that long one and it goes a lot better with the um, zip ties. And then um, we just put this on here and then when we tie it, we make sure that we leave a finger's distance between so we'll be able to cut it off real easily. And um, that's how, that's the other thing we do is zip ties, that's how we mark our bikes. All right, any questions you know what to do, let me know.
Merry Christmas. I hope this is helpful. Uh, ask me if you have any more questions. I would love to uh, help you out. Thank you for watching and enjoy this crazy calling.